I, I want to turn to perhaps one of the most contentious debates, frankly, tearing America apart right now, that is race and racism and how to respond to what many people appears to be the clear evidence of discrimination at every level in American society, including policing and the justice system. You have spoken out against Black Lives Matter. You seem to regard it as a form of identity politics, which you say is a poison, a poison in America today. Why do you say that? Well, first, let me say that I, I acknowledge that racism is still a, a tremendous problem in certain parts of American society and, and you know, globally, uh, and that racism is is something that we absolutely have to oppose and and criticize. And I mean, you know, it is a problem for which there is a remedy, and we have been you know pursuing this remedy for for many many decades in the U.S. But we've made a lot of progress, right? And we're now living at a moment where we are having a kind of uh, moral panic advertised to us, and, and Black Lives Matter is, is, is one of the, the names of this movement and one of the, you know, the, the groups, you know, you know, it's a very loose group, but it's one of the groups that is, is um, uh, making the most noise on this topic at the moment. And it, it's as though we have made no progress. It's as though this moment in American history exemplifies the worst uh, symptoms of racism. And uh, that's quite delusional. I mean, obviously, we've made a tremendous amount of progress. Obviously, this is one of the least racist moments in human history, uh, generally, globally, and in, in American history. And um, but, 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 but it, it, can, may I stop you yeah, to, just please. to point out that uh, yeah. the obvious that you sit with me, we're both, you know, let's be honest, white, uh, middle class, comfortable, uh, educated people who represent perhaps the, the dominant uh, grouping in our respective societies. And, and who are you, in the end, to tell black Americans how they should feel right now? Because so many of them look around the reality of their own lives, their children's lives, and see a system which is systemically racist, not least when it comes to the police. And they feel it is their right and their duty to express a level of anger, frustration, and an unwillingness to accept that, which is surely understandable. Well, it's in part understandable. I mean, what is really understandable is that there is a lot of misinformation and misunderstanding being amplified. I mean, so, so if you're going to be outraged over the uh, racist behavior of racist cops or the racist consequences of systems that that promulgate racism, whether there's any actual living racists around to to uh, implement those systems. Um, well, it's so, not a choice, is it? We, we are we are surely duty bound to be. No, of course. Outraged I, 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 by that. I'm, I'm as concerned and as outraged as, as anyone is about those things. But I'm doubly or additionally concerned that we not find racists where they don't exist. Right. That we, if, if you're going to find racists everywhere, you're, you're, you're going to find the real racists nowhere. Right. I mean, you're, and you're going to do an immense, immense harm uh, in the process. Uh, and so to take you know, the, the variable of police violence is very important. If you're going to worry about uh, the consequences of racism and the way it's causing uh, you know, black men preferentially to get shot and killed in, in America, you have to find out whether, in fact, that's happening, right? Whether, in fact, black men are being shot in greater numbers, right, in proportion to uh, the, the numbers of encounters they have with police officers, and whether they're whether they're if they're having more encounters with police officers per capita, there's any explanation for that other than racism, right? The, my concern currently in America is that any disparity you find, whether it's with respect to police violence or employment or wealth or any any variable of interest and of great social importance currently on the left anywhere you go left of center politically the only explanation that is acceptable and this really does have the the kind of the quality of a kind of blasphemy test in a religion the only explanation that is that is acceptable at this moment is white racism or or systemic racism now on the point of police violence it just so happens that 
the only data we have suggest that while while African Americans have more encounters with the police, uh, and there's there you know I think there are obvious reasons for that, um, and they're actually in fact roughed up by the police more than than white Americans are. Um, they're not killed more. In fact, they're killed less than, than, than white Americans are per encounter, which is to say that if you come under the attention of the police in America and uh, they draw their guns on you, uh, your chances of being shot appear to be slightly higher if you're white. At the but, moment. But, but, now that but hang on. It breaks everyone's expectations. This is fascinating because it gets to the heart of your intellectual approach to lots of things. You know, you are, I think, a self proclaimed rationalist. You say that you are determined to be driven by the evidence, by data, by the science, not by emotion, and still less by things like religion or any other faith based knowledge uh, uh, belief system. So, so evidence matters. But if you look across the piece, it's, you've alighted on one piece of evidence, but surely there's an overwhelming tract of evidence about incarceration rates, what happens to yeah. black kids in schools, what happens to black people in employment, how many jobless black people there are. There is clearly a story in America of systemic discrimination which black people are saying right now they will no longer tolerate without expressing their anger. And when you make the point you've just made, it, it does sound to some like you're, you're sort of lacking a level of compassion or, or even emotional intelligence or ability to empathize with the situation of the other. Well, well no, the, the, well, first of all, it shouldn't because I'm concerned about the, the real suffering of real people. But the, we have to acknowledge that we compound that suffering when we give false notions about its actual causes, right? So if you're going to look at, uh, and again, I, and, and I'm, you know, I'm on record every time I touch this topic, acknowledging that uh, we still need criminal justice reform and the war on drugs in, in the United States in particular has been a disaster and it's especially been a disaster for the black community. All of those things uh, should go without saying and, and there are changes that need to be made there. But if you're going to, again, if you're going to, to ascribe the status quo across the board, the fact that that um, uh, there's the kind of wealth inequality and inequality with respect to cr crime and violence I in American society that breaks along racial lines, if you're going to ascribe that to white racism, or or white race or policies that white that white people are not changing because they advantage them, right? you will continually stumble upon errors of great consequence, right? It is simply not the case that there are white racists uh, with their racism producing the level of violence we see in the black community in the inner city, in a place like Chicago. The point that many black Americans are making right now, and I'm going to quote to you uh, the words of just one, this is Sincere Carabo, who, who works as the social justice coordinator at the American Humanist Association. He's addressed your uh, podcasts on this issue, your interviews with other people on this issue, and he says, Sam Harris's definition of racism places an underlying emphasis on intention, and he says that's how Sam Harris defines the number of white people who are racist as a tiny, tiny minority. However, says Mr. Carabo, when discussing racism, it is important to remember it isn't about intent, it's about impact, and in that sense it involves a far greater proportion of the white community. Well, as stated, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that. Intention isn't the only thing that matters, obviously. If there are policies that, in effect, create racist outcomes, whether anyone intends it or not, we should figure out what those policies are and we should change them, right? So that's, you know, that is what people tend to mean by systemic race to racism or institutional racism. And I'm, I'm completely on board with the project of discovering that and correcting for it, right? But what we have now in American society are allegations of racism or, or uh, the experience that people are having, millions of people are having simultaneously of watching a video of, let's say, a police shooting 
you know, uh, you know, in, in the prototypical case, it'll be a you know white cop shooting a. Yeah, black we don't have to imagine suspect. it, Sam. We 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 see it. We it's, right now we're watching over and over Jacob Blake being shot in Wisconsin. You know, we we don't have to use our imagination. I would tell you that 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 video is not evidence in and of itself. That video is not evidence of racism, right? You can be you can see videos of white people being shot in precisely the same circumstances and. Um, I mean, we have a massive problem of guns in our society. We have a massive problem of, of poorly trained cops. I mean, that that video in particular uh, evinced several of these problems. One is that well, that when someone well. rushes to their car uh, in defiance of police commands and opens the door and reaches in, in American society, unlike in the UK, it is only rational for the cops to assume that that person is retrieving a gun so he can turn around and start shooting cops in the face, which which happens, right? And every cop knows this. To move on from race to religion,